on this album, not only uh, Graham Nash and Neil Young, but uh, people like uh, Jerry Garcia, Joni Mitchell, uh, David Freeberg, Freiberg, okay, Paul Kattner, Gracie Slick, Jack Cassidy, and Jama Kokonen. And a lot of great pictures, that some of which were taken by uh, Graham, and I think some of which taken by uh, Sally Sashi, and uh, some taken by uh, David Crosby. David and uh, uh, Graham uh, opened up a gallery not too long ago in Los Angeles, which I, I, I don't know if it's uh, still running or not. It was called Pictures, simply. And they uh, sold a lot of the things that they had done. And there were some fine, fine pictures in there. And also by, uh, you know, pictures of their friends that taken. And uh, it was a wild, wild side trip. Meanwhile, of course, you know, musicians hang out with musicians, and uh, there are generations that spawn generations. And this is a great intercommunal type of an album, 359. If I can only remember my name, David Crosby on Atlantic Records at Discount Records Center Stores today, Studio City, 12199 Ventura Boulevard.
I think that my favorites on this album, such a thing as having favorites, would be, uh, well, there's a lot of things on here. I, I do like those last two cuts inside to Orleans, and uh, I'd swear there was someone here or somebody here, written by David Crosby. Other things written by, oh, David, and um, let's see, like, for example, uh, What Are Their Names? It was written by Neil Young, Jerry Garcia, Phil Lesh, and Michael Shreve, and David, and uh, oh, a little later on they have, um, oh, let's see, oh, yeah, on side one, uh, music is uh, love, Graham Nash, and Neil Young, and David Crosby wrote that one. Okay, and... He's got a new publishing firm David has called Cowboy Music. One of the titles is in here called uh, Cowboy Movie, which is interesting. If you like little side trips, and I do, always have. So uh, if you like this album, 359 on Atlantic today at Discount Record Center Stories, and they're all over the place. Westwood, 923 Broxton at LeConte, Hollywood, 6430 Hollywood Boulevard. Why 359? Because this is a very expensive album. All these wonderful pictures taken by these wonderful people and all these wonderful people getting together. And Yeah, 359 is really a very, very reasonable price for David Crosby's new album on Atlantic. If only I could remember my name, or if I could only remember my name. David Crosby. My name is BMR. And next is Rabbit on KMET, Metro Media Stereo in Los Angeles. I'll see you later. Thank you, Mitch. My friends call me V, so I guess he... <laughs> Informable put down. Anyway, not too many people realize it, but when they go to buy a stereo, you are at complete mercy of the sale folk. In fact, these are the people that can be taken, and they're taken every day, right? Some clever guy, high-pressure salesman in a coat and tie, puts it down, says, this is it, sign right here, and take it home. And you don't really know how much you're going to pay. You don't know what you got. You get home, and you're paying for something that you really don't want. Well, that's not the way it works out at uh, University Stereo in the garages. they got garage sales going on now, and it's, it's, well, it's low overhead. No high pressure. You just go in and look around. If you find what you want, take it home. If not... You leave. See, there's a garage going on, a garage sale at West Los Angeles at 3378 South Overland, in Van Nuys at 4626 and three quarters Van Nuys Boulevard, and the new one in Long Beach at 2725 East Pacific Coast Highway. University Stereo, they're in the phone book, right? And if you go in and just look around, no high pressure salesman, nobody's going to tell you this, and you just go in and listen, and that's what's important, what you're buying, right? And they won't, uh, they won't stick you with any of those, uh, those deals where you think you're going to pay. Fifteen hundred dollars, and by the time you make your payments of uh, whatever it is, fifty, sixty dollars a month, then all of a sudden you paid three thousand for about a five hundred dollar unit. Don't work like that. All over town in a phone book, University Stereo. Give them a call. <laughs> Rolling 
Stones in Gimme Shelter. Rated R. Yes, Gimme Shelter now showing exclusively in Los Angeles at the Bruin Theater in Westwood. Let's see, what do we do to news now? They will come back in a moment. Governor Reagan is busy explaining his welfare reform package to the people today. He's in Fresno this noon, assuring county officials his proposals will not increase local taxes. To quote Mr. Reagan, no county will be allowed a net loss. They have our guarantee. His state director of welfare is saying the same thing before the state senate finance committee. Robert Carlson says counties will actually receive a net savings. Not true, says the director of the Sacramento County Welfare Department, William Hay. He uh, has major cost shifts in his program, uh, things that will reduce county costs, like will save the county $4,280,000. Unfortunately, other cost shifts, uh, raising the county share of cost in a rapidly growing AFDC program and related changes will add $11 million a year to county costs. The net net change is an increase in county cost is $6,580,000, which amounts to 65 cents on the tax rate. The reaction here in Los Angeles, not bad. By and large, Ellis Murphy, head of the County Department of Social Services, says the governor's welfare proposals look good. Murphy says he and his staff favor three or four of the major points. The concept, for instance, of removing all employables from the welfare system and placing them in what we call a work-oriented system rather than a welfare-oriented system. Now, we discussed this with the governor and his staff, and apparently they have bought this concept, and we approve of it very much transferring all employables out of the welfare system as soon as possible into a state-supported and state-operated work security system where you try to get them a job rather than get them on welfare. And, uh, however, if they uh, need temporarily uh, aid, they'd get it, get it through that system. Murphy says if the governor's welfare program has a flaw, it would be the proposal to shift California state aid to the disabled back to county general relief. If you have your auto insurance with Allstate, hang on to your premiums. The rates are going up about 8.5%. The rising cost of accidents in California is the reason. The new rates will be effective on existing policies as they're renewed during the coming 12 months. The City Council's Police, Fire, and Civil Defense Committee will ponder a rather heavy question today. Should the taxpayers of Los Angeles pay for the legal defense of those police officers indicted by a federal grand jury yesterday? Mayor Sam Yorty thinks so. He's backing the request by Police Chief Ed Davis. The chief has asked the city attorney to represent the men or hire private counsel at city expense. Gaze at the water glistening as the sun touches down on the foamy white. And gaze at the meadow with its crown of jewels set ablaze the morning light Life is for living Open your mind to the sky Life is for living So dust the cobwebs from your sleepy eyes Life See it all, get it all And get the best In beer, the best is bush because we brew with quality ingredients and more than a century of old world skill. Our whole thing is quality, and Bush does it like no other beer, and we can prove it. In days gone by, the sight of a giant windjammer on the horizon symbolized adventure, elegance, the embodiment of the mystery of the sea. And today, the sight of the giant wind jammer on the strip in Hollywood symbolizes that same adventure, that same elegance. Food fit for any captain's table, steaks, chops, Chateaubriand, veal, chicken and egg plant dishes from the European galley, fish with its hang of the open seas. And if it's liquid refreshment your crew needs, the wine cellar has an excellent selection. Attentive but unobtrusive service, in intimate surroundings, you'll swear you were alone in the place. A friendly, relaxed, comfortable atmosphere where a tie or jacket simply isn't important, but you are. So bring back the elegance, the adventure of the Windjammer of old at the Windjammer on the Strip. The Windjammer restaurant, open for lunch, for dinner, and until the wee small hours in the morning. If you'd like your table waiting when you get there, call 272-4566. Gene Selznick's The Windjammer on the Strip. Los Angeles gets a new newspaper today. It's called PM, Proud Minorities. 
The publisher, Frank Stanley, says it's the first newspaper specializing in multi-ethnic coverage. It'll be a weekly for now, hopefully a daily in the near future. President Nixon hit Congress with phase two of his revenue-sharing proposals today, this one concerning $2 billion for manpower programs to fight unemployment. Here in Los Angeles, a rather unlikely alliance was formed to support the president's concept. Former Assembly Speaker Jess Unruh, obviously a staunch Democrat, and two leading Republicans, Leonard Firestone and Holmes Tuttle, said Mr. Unruh. I support the concept of revenue sharing and not necessarily any particular bill. And uh, in one form or another, I would hope that uh, the federal government, which has the best, the biggest, the most flexible, and the most rapidly growing source of income, which is the personal income tax and the corporate income tax, uh, would share some of that revenue in one form or another with the states and local government. Otherwise, we're just going to see more and more taxes pile on the back of the property taxpayer. And I think they've had it right up to their necks, and they should have. You get it better at the warehouse on Capricorn Records. Brand new Alex Taylor's new album with friends and neighbors. Now double discount price, just two sixty-four. That's two dollars and sixty-four cents. Where? At the warehouse. Alex Taylor, elder brother of James and Livingston, makes his record debut and shows off his warm blues singing style in this fantastic new album. The songs are all originals, with a few written by brother James. It's brand new and it's double discount priced now, just two sixty-four. Where? At the warehouse in Torrance, Costa Mesa. Panorama City, Pomona, Belmont Shores, Long Beach, in Hollywood and La Cienega near Melrose, and in Westwood on Gailey Avenue. Now remember, Alex Taylor with Friends and Neighbors, his new album on Capricorn Records. Double discount price now, just $2.64. That's $2.64. Where? At the warehouse.